Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. The image library in SOLIDWORKS Composer is a great way to quickly and easily prompt the viewer to take some action. We have convenient icons that indicate that the user may need to take caution, apply glue, or use safety equipment. But are we restricted to what comes preloaded? Absolutely not. All you need is a bitmap of the icon you'd like to use. However, if you've ever tried to use your own icon, you've probably noticed that it doesn't look quite as clean as the preloaded ones due to the white background. This is a major pet peeve of mine. If you've got my earlier tech tip on saving images out of SOLIDWORKS with an alpha channel, then you have a leg up here on understanding how to fix this. If you missed that one, I'll put a link to it in the description. Now it's the same concept here, but it doesn't quite work the same with bitmap images. Here we'll need to use a little trick to pre-mask the image using Photoshop or GIMP. Here's how it works. I have the logo of my Model Everything content series, and let's say I have an episode that I want to link into my Composer document. Any image saved as a bitmap file can be added to the library folder in Windows. This is probably in your install directory, SOLIDWORKS Composer images, and it's ready to be used. But when I use it in my document, it just looks so unfinished. Luckily, there's an easy fix that will take seconds and will clean up your documents going forward. I use Photoshop, but GIMP is a free alternative. With the bitmap open, we need to access the image's channels. Our goal here is to add a channel to the image that will allow us to tell it what to hide. We just need to use the most appropriate selection tool to create a selection of what we want to show. Here I'll use the magic wand and I'll turn off continuous to get a quick color selection. Keep in mind that in certain scenarios it may be easier to select what you don't want and then invert the selection. Once we have a selection made, I'll use this little option here to create a mask. Now we see an alpha channel show up here. Remember that alpha means it's controlling transparency. There's one last critical step, and that is to make sure that the bitmap is storing all the information that we just created. In Save As, make sure to check the box that's selected to save alpha if there is one available. This will change the bitmap to a 32-bit image, in effect, storing more data in the image. And that's it. Our new image can be used from now on and will be clean and pre-masked every time we want to use it. Don't have an image you want to use? No problem. One of my favorite techniques to create a new icon is to grab a model from your favorite online database, drop it into SOLIDWORKS Visualize, use a one-to-one -one image ratio, turn off floor shadows, and save it as a PNG with an alpha channel. We can then use the alpha channel and the PNG to create the mask for the bitmap file. And within minutes, you have a drag and drop image that you can use in every future document you create. So now you know how easy it is to create great looking custom images to add to the image library and SOLIDWORKS Composer. With some simple pre-masking and the correct export settings, we're able to clean up existing images or create images from scratch that will speed up your work in Composer with quality results. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back in the next tip. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.